This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this Suburban. It is a 2004 Suburban LS. That means it's cloth. 5.3 liter uh, V8. Uh, it's four wheel drive. Has 113,000 miles. It was a theft recovery. We purchased directly from an insurance company. Uh, let's see. Got a few little cosmetic things going on. Um, we had to put a new water pump in it. It was leaking pretty bad. Uh, we wanted to make sure that that was okay. They also stole the rear springs and shocks. So it has brand new rear springs, brand new rear shocks. Um, I'll walk around and show you the cosmetic stuff first. The tires are great. It's got some really nice BFG all-terrains. Probably, gosh, we had to buy one because one of them had a big hole in the sidewall. So one of them is brand new, and the rest of them are probably 95% tread. They probably put them on right before. Clearly, they use this thing to smuggle. <laughs> um, they took the third seat out. The third seat is missing. It's a uh, cloth third seat. They can be found all over the place for somewhere between 300 and 450 in that area. Um, if you want one and you want to add to the, add it to the price, we can find one for you and have it installed. All the, you know, you just lock it in with the little handles they have. This is, I believe, this is the new tire that we put on on the passenger front. Body's very straight, except for when they were going through whatever they were going through. They decided to looks like they clipped the side of a bush or low tree or something, probably a mesquite tree or something. And just did this to the mostly on the pat, top of the door on both passenger doors. See that or not really well. It's my job to show you what's wrong more than what's right. That way, if you ship it to Michigan or Kalamazoo or Portland, Maine or Germany, like we've had a few going to Germany, we just had one go to Samoa. Um, that you're pleasantly surprised um, that it's better than I said it was. Oh wait, you know what? This is clearly the brand new tire. This is the brand new tire, the driver rear. You can see the nipples are still on it. Anyway, so it's the passenger rear that's the brand new tire. But they're all, you know, the, the other three are 90%. Let me show you the roof. Here we go. Here's the roof. You got some of the typical Chevy peeling paint. I guess if you're Shaquille O'Neal, it would matter, but if you're not, I don't think it matters at all. There's a little ding down here. Let's see that. This tire, this this tire is actually pretty badly chunked up. This driver rear might want to replace this one. Um, that's not very good. They're about 250 for one. Um, if you want one, um, you can uh, contact Discount Tires. They're 8,000 East Broadway Branch. Ask for Thomas. You'll get our discount, and you won't pay taxes. See, that's all brand new springs and shocks. They stole those for whatever reason. Who knows what they're doing. <laughs> Aside from the top of those doors and that little thing near the rear bumper on the driver's side, it's really straight. I was thinking that you could get those, you know, those wind deflectors that stick on, you know, to deflect wind around the top of the doors. Um, and cover that up for whatever at Pep Boys. Anyway, there's your uh, fenders. There's your core support, nice and straight. Here's your emission stuff. It's it's very clean under the hood. It's great. We did put a new ba battery in. That's an AC Delco, which is a factory battery for Chevy. All right, let's uh, look in here. Let's see. <laughs> I 
we did search this car extensively. We took all these back panels apart and we had it detailed a couple times. So it has the it still has a little bit of a smell of marijuana. Um but uh just so you know, I mean that's it's gonna it's going away quickly, but it it's there. Um and uh I made sure I had my guys just take all the panels apart. The cops get it all, but uh Sometimes it sits there for long enough to leave you a lingering smell. There's a little bit of a stain up here on the on the panel uh, headliner, I mean, up on top. But uh, seats look good. Oh, wait a second, I just saw something. We're missing a bezel here. I'm going to try to get that before we sell it. And we had to do a little repair here on the top of the door panel. Right here, it looks like there was probably a hole or something there. I mean, I don't picture this thing as being a beauty queen or anything, um, but there's a little crack on the trim. That would get your fingers pretty good. I don't know. I'd probably take this thing off. Those trim pieces are always ridiculously expensive, um, like probably $30 or $40 for a piece of plastic. So if I were you, I would probably just file this stuff off so you don't cut your fingers and call it a day. Anyway, I don't picture this being a, a beauty queen for somebody. Let me try the seats, make sure that they work. Yep, there's the seat going up. They're going down. There you go. Carpet looks good. We need a trim piece. We're going to get this trim piece to cover the console. I mean, to cover the uh, steering column. But it'd be a great uh, vehicle to, you know, hunt in or or pull the you know something to the lakes with. Runs great. Just got its new. Uh, just got its new uh, water pump. New rear shocks and springs, so it'd be good for towing. Let's see if we have a radio. Oh! Ah! That would be the clue as to who stole it. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's listen back here. There's the rear air. I can hear it running. Let's see. Here's the front air. It's blowing really cool, too. That feels great. You got a factory cassette and you got a CD player. Here's the uh, seats. Looks like we got a little bit of staining going on here. I mean, it's going to be the cheapest uh, decent mile 4x4 uh, SUV anywhere. That's the advantage here. Uh, let's see. Make sure the tilt works. The tilt does work. We got the cruise here. Let's put it into neutral. Put it into drive. Let's make sure we have four wheel drive. Oh, yeah. That's very low. That would be a five mile an hour top speed and four low. And I can definitely feel it. Oh, yeah. Lots of torque. That feels great. Neutral. Yeah, and we could actually drive at speed and for high, we'll put it in reverse. Perfect. Okay. Let's go to auto. That's for rain. There you go. Perfect. That works. Put it in reverse. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Gone through all that stuff. Windows work, driver window, driver rear window, let's see, there's the passenger rear window, and passenger front window. All right, the tent's got some issues here, there's a little bit of bubbling there on the tent. That's your basic uh, in Mexico tent. It always, it's always a little bit darker and it's always a little funky. 
tighten it. But the good news is you just grab it and it just peels off if you want it off. Um, all right, let's go down the street real quick tell you the particulars. This is on a salvage title, which is why it's going to be a lot cheaper than if it weren't. But that means that if you want to drive it home from Tucson, you're going to have to get it restored. That means I have to take it down to the gun carrying cops at Motor Vehicle. At Six in the morning we have to be down there. And our guy has to babysit it for a couple, eh, anywhere between two and four or five hours, which is why we charge $200 for it. We have to pay them 50 bucks, and the other 150 is to live with the truck for up to a half a day. Um, and we're allowed to do it without an appointment, and most people in most states have to make an appointment weeks out. Um, anyway, um, so if you come here, it's got to have a restored salvage title, which means it needs the inspection, which we charge $200 to do. Um, if you come here, you're also going to pay our tax, which is 2% city tax, plus whatever your state tax rate is. If your state tax rate is 3%, you're going to pay a total of 5% tax, you're going to pay the $200 restore fee and a $250 dock fee that we charge. If you pay by wire and ship, I strongly recommend that you have us restore the title unless you're positive that when you get the truck to wherever it's going, that all you need is all, all you're going to need is a salvage title and a bill of sale. Um, uh, we can't get you any more. The insurance company is divorced from this vehicle. They lost a fortune. They're not helping. And sometimes it'll go to New York or Connecticut, usually East Coast states, and they, you know, they insist on something being replaced. They, you know, the, the, how is the car here? It's not wrecked. There must be receipts for stuff that was replaced. Blah 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 blah. You know, um, and they want it from the insurance company. Okay, we replaced the springs and the shocks and the water pump, but the insurance company didn't. So please make sure you call your motor vehicles first. Um, the best way is just to pay the 200 and then you take your restored salvage title into the New York MVD or whatever and if they make you inspect it at least you have some documents from the police here and it, it, we've never heard anything go wrong then the only time it ever goes wrong is when they want receipts and blah 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 and you're sitting out there in Illinois or Connecticut or New York with a bill of sale and a title okay my speech is over on that so uh, like I said, if you ship, if you pay by wire and ship, uh, I would recommend the $200 on top of the price. So, you know, say you paid $6,500 for this vehicle, it was our agreed upon price, um, you'd pay $6,700. The minute we got the uh, inspection done uh, and we were paid in full, we would put it in the mail to you um, and then you would have it shipped out. Um, it's real simple. Um, please also make sure that you get a deposit in. I'm going to be quiet for a second and let you. Uh, experiences zero to whatever even with that real chunky driver rear tire it runs great I don't have any vibrations uh, shifting perfectly very quiet ice cold air it's a good car um, anyway uh, please get your deposit in we're very busy people are on to us all over the country uh, We've, like I said, we're selling to American Samoa, Germany. Um, we've sold to Saudi Arabia. Um, so it's uh, it's really, really, really important you get the deposit in because if we have an agreed upon price, we don't have a deposit in, and someone says, "I want to, I want that suburban," and they have the money, they're going to get it. So you know, people are getting angry at us, especially on eBay, which is really lame. A guy just waited seven hours uh, after we had a, you know, we accepted his offer. To put the deposit in. He puts a deposit in, but we had already emailed him saying you don't have the car because someone just paid us sixteen thousand dollars for that car and he went crazy. <laughs> I, I don't really understand how he can be upset with anyone but himself, but he was. So I'm just warning you, you know, th these are real cars, they're the real deal. We're not <laughs> we don't need to misrepresent them. There's plenty of vehicles out there. Um, there's plenty of buyers for whatever problem we have to announce. Uh, on a vehicle. We announce what's wrong with them. Um, so, that said, uh, it's a great car. It's going to be a smoking deal. Please bid on it and have a great week. Thank you.